Water gym's done, and we have officially finished half of the badges in the game. But now that we did the water gym, uh, the level cap is 32 now, and I get another encounter. So, are you trying to attack me? Did that rock rough just vanish into thin air? Well, either way... Wait, actually, what, what area is this in? Is it the desert, or is it going to be West Province Area 1? I feel like more of the town is in the, like, West Province. But, well, actually, this part of the town is, like, kind of sandy. I don't know. Which one should I count it for? I guess I've done a bunch of encounters in, like, the West Province because, yeah, I've had the Titan and this here. I think I'm going to count this for the desert, just to even it out a little bit. So, let me do a desert encounter real quick. There's only four Pokemon in the desert that we don't have. Reller, Flittle, Tinkatink, and Orthworm. So, one to four it is. Alright, let's see what we get. Number three, which is before Tinkatink, so Orthworm. Okay, honestly, I kind of really wanted Flittle or Relor, but this is fine. I don't completely mind Orthworm. I just find Pokemon that don't evolve slightly less interesting. <laughs> but honestly, Orthworm seems kind of funny. And lucky me, they're everywhere, so hello. Oh, they leave. Okay, gotta find one that doesn't run away immediately. Or throw a Pokeball at it from afar. Do I have any quick balls? I still don't. I don't know why I, I even check. I know that we haven't been able to buy any. I like low kicks a lot. Look, it's things. It, it does that. That's hilarious. I don't even know how to describe the thing it's doing. Stay in the ball, and don't kill my low kicks, or I'll be mad. You know, I just realized, this has been on the screen the entire time. <laughs> and he almost killed my low kicks. See, double worst case scenario. This thing's being really difficult. I threw like 10 Pokeballs at it. And it's really making me want to click Infestation. But I don't want to accidentally kill it if it keeps breaking out of Pokeballs. Finally. I think I had leftovers, because I probably would have had to switch a bunch if I didn't just have free healing. It's pure steel. kind of wish it was steel ground, but... Eh, pure steel's... Probably, I mean, they're both pretty good types. So the next place we need to go uh, is this, the next Team Star base. It's level 32 is the level cap. Yeah, it shouldn't be too hard to get because we can just TP here. And it should be real close. And it's in a new area, right? Yeah, Tag Tree Thicket, which is actually another zone. So I can get an encounter here. Okay, interesting thing about Tag Tree Thicket, there's actually nothing new here for me that I haven't already gotten. Which uh, means I'm not going to get any encounter. So, yeah, that, that's how I'm going to do that. Unfortunate, but I mean, I set the rules as only new Pokemon, so I'm not even going to count the old Pokemon. Actually, technically Char Cadet can evolve into something else. So I guess my encounter is forced to be Char Cadet because there's nothing else new here. Oh, wait, is there anything... Nope, no fixed spawns are new. Okay. Yeah, only Charcadet's new, because I can evolve it into the other form. So I'll, I'll catch a Charcadet, and I'll probably just get a friend with Violet, because I need to get a friend who has another game anyway, because I need multiplayer to evolve my Finizen, right? Yeah, I need, to, I need to battle with this in multiplayer to evolve it. So, yeah, I'll do that, and also... A, I'll also get another Char Cadet. I think that makes sense. Because that's what I would do for, uh, like, if, if there was, like, a Ralts. Because I, I, if I get, I can get two Ralts if I had Ralts as a viable encounter, because Ralts has Gallade and Gardevoir. So since this has split evolutions, it's the same thing. Uh, which way are we going? This way. 
You know, I'm so glad I can high jump now. I'm also so glad that I learned how to cheat up walls, because some of these walls, like, going around sucks when I could just do this instead. And now we're in. Oh. What is this? Oh, it's you. <laughs> right, I forgot we were getting close to, a. Uh... Team Star Base, and I like how the Grafii have touched all the trees around here. Omi. Hey there, Clive. Glad to see you've got my name committed to your memory. Now let's pick up our conversation from where we left off before. As I mentioned, I joined Operation Starfall to resolve a sticky situation and to find out the reasons behind Team Star's odd behavior. Above all, I want to know why the students in Team Star have stopped coming to school. And just like Cassiopeia, I want the team to disband for good. Since joining Operation Starfall with you, I've already had some success in opening it up a dialogue with Team Star. And I think I'm just starting to understand things more clearly. But I don't have enough information just yet. That's why I want to speak with students from Team Star's other squads, too. If you intend to take on another base, know it, that you can count on me for backup. Okay. Well, I did say I wanted to try jumping into a base. So I'm going to try that with this base. Am I going to go to the base right now? So they're poison types, right? I guess I should probably prepare a team for that. Because I don't have the best team for it right now. We have Veluza, but Veluza hasn't learned a single psychic move. I guess I could bring Veluza, maybe Nightshade, because I kind of want to... I don't know when this evolves, but I think I'll find out. I guess I could use Bronzong. I don't really want to use Bronzong, though. I mean, it is shiny, but it's still just a Bronzong. I, this is probably a good time to use Orthworm. Oh, and this. Yeah, I guess I have a couple Pokemon I can use. But before we go in there, I need to look for a Charcadet here. So this is just the base, right? Oh, they don't even have like a wall all the way around, just so, like a regular fence? I didn't mean to approach. Do me a favor and go home already, will ya? No, I want to see the boss, a Navi squad. Take me to Don Atticus. Who is this child? Like I said, kid, the boss told me not to let any outsiders pass these gates. That includes you. I don't care, I'm not leaving until you let me talk to Don Atticus. Give me a break, you little doofus. The people over there seem to be arguing about something. What do you want to do? What? There's no option to just, like, watch? Literally 1984, huh? Oh great, here comes another rando to ruin my day. I don't think Grunt work for Team Star newbies would be this much of a chore. Hold on, Mr. Grunt. I think this boy might be Omi. Wait, Omi, the kid who picked the fight with Team Star? Yep, that's me. I knew it. Ooh, boy, this ain't good. Everyone else in the base is still asleep since we were up all, la all last night playing video games. Leave him to me, Mr. Grunt. I'll buy some time for you to go wake up the others. What? Yeah, and what's in it for you? Don Atticus will be in danger if no one's here to defend the base. I owe that man my life. He's my dear compadre. What are you talking about? And when crisis calls, one has no choice but to rally those dear to him, no matter the cost. What is this kid- what is he- what is he on about? What are you talking about? <laughs> what? Alright, you villain. If you're after Don Atticus, be prepared to face my wrath. Please do the Team Star pose. Wait a sec. Discretion is the better part of Valor. As the saying goes, wise choice. Well, I still want to see if I can jump into the base, so I don't really want to start that. Just yet. I want to look around Tag 3 Thicket first. Also, do all the Grafai I- Oh, look at a Fungus. I, you know, I never really realized they were that small. Although, I guess the Pokeball bait thing wouldn't really work if they were bigger. I wonder if there's Grafai in all these trees, like if I just bump into them. Nope, not seeing a Grafai, they're just on the ground. Holy, my uh, Switch apparently hates this place. Yeah, it's not its not a fan. I guess it's all the grass. Well, I guess if I see a Tinkatink, or not a Tinkatink, a Charcadet, that's what I'm looking for. Then I'll catch it. Oh wait, there's Cloudsire here too. Okay, that complicates things, because now I can't legally claim... Yeah, they don't show up here. That's annoying. <laughs> well, they are in Tag Tree Thicket, so now that I've seen them, I guess I'll re-randomize. Well, I, I guess I didn't randomize before, so just one to two. This or, or Charcadet. It's technically Charcadet's still on the table, right? I guess I'll look around a little bit more, and then if I find another new Pokemon, I'll add it to the list. 
Like maybe there's Tauros here, but it's just not telling me. These black texted trainers are supposed to be mini bosses, right? I think so. Hey, aren't you a student? You should be at school. You're a student. And what are you talking about? The treasure hunt is supposed to be... You're not supposed to be at the school. Well, I guess I led with the perfect thing. Yeah, they usually seem to have more Pokemon and are actually, like, decently leveled. Um, I'm just gonna Terrastalize. Why not? Honestly, I'm glad that a lot of the new Pokemon in this gen don't have, like, aren't completely garbage. The only- Oh, what the f- What- What- Calm down! Whoa there! Let's- Let's chill at least a little bit. Oh my god. Okay, I was gonna be real mad if Grafai I did, died there. <laughs> to a jump bluff. Uh, I was saying that I, I'm glad that most of the Pokemon in this gen don't have garbage stats. The exception being Veluza and, uh... <laughs> okay, Veluza's not completely terrible. I, I don't like it, but... <laughs> Jupiter. Well, we can't switch. Um, and Spydops. Everything else seems like kind of okay, at least. Well, I just go straight into Bramble Gas. No reason not to. I should have U-turned, actually. But it, it's fine. Well, prepare to get seated. Yeah, I haven't seen any Tauros or anything around here, so I guess it'll just, like, flip a coin, and it'll be between Claude Sire and Charcadet for my encounter here. Honestly, I wish every trainer was like this guy. S like, slightly difficult. Because <laughs> most of them aren't at all. Um, yeah. And most of them just have one Pokemon. Like, come on, at least two. Not the Assault Vest Taunt. What am I going to do now? I'm really excited to see how, like, Terrasilize works in VGC. Because I've, I've been seeing it in singles, obviously. On uh, Showdown, mostly. But I'm interested in seeing how it, like, shapes VGC's meta. Because that could be really funny. Oh, you guys are hitting the level cap. Pretty quick flamethrower. That's amazing. Guess I don't really need fire pledge. You schooled me. I also kind of just wish that the game was uh, spaced farther apart. I mean, it's not it's not poorly like paced or anything. More like just levelly paced. I have an issue with, not really an issue, but like, you know. Because like most Pokemon games like end at around level 50 instead of like, you know, higher levels. Like I, I wish the Elite Four was like level 70 or 80 or something. Not like 100, but like, you know, to where like the games would span longer. Because that's how like a lot of Drayano hacks are balanced to like the Elite Four is like level 80s, right? I think they have, like, slightly better balance. Well, I mean, they can, they're, like, difficult, but I mean, like, level balance-wise, where if, if the games were, like, total balanced like that, I think it would be beneficial. But, what do I know? Oh, there's also Flamigo around here. Okay. Well, I guess that's three Pokemon, or two Pokemon that it missed. It's so weird how... I don't know. Like, they just don't show up on Cerebi. 
What is this? That's oh, just a mushroom. <laughs> I thought that was a Pokemon. Yeah, so Flamigo. What is this? Oh, it's a Spidops on a tree. Whoa. <laughs> Did he try to get me? <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, I'm just gonna look around a little more just in case. Cause I, I'm probably gonna do this on every route from now on. Cause it keeps. I keep missing so many encounters because, you know, it's not telling me that they're on the route. Yeah, I think that's it. That's all I've seen that it's lied to me about. What is that? That's an Aracuda. Okay. So, I guess... Oh, Ponyard Gear 2! What? Okay, that's four, then. I can't believe I just saw the fourth by looking around. What is this? I think this is just an Aracuda. Oh, it's a Barrascuda. Okay, well, I don't want to fight you right now, so... Let's get out of that water. Okay, so I guess one will be Charcadet, two will be... Uh, Claude Sire. Three will be the third thing I found, which was... I don't remember. And the fourth thing is Ponyard. One. Okay, so it's Charcadet again. God damn it. <laughs> okay, well, fine. I'll, I'll just look for another Charcadet. That's what I was gonna do to begin with. No big deal, but... Yeah, I'm gonna have to take, like, my... I have to take personal looks around every route now to see if I'm missing any Pokemon for my randomizer. Because, yeah. Oh, well. Charcadet it is. I'll just keep an eye out. Oh, hi. This is a home for Team Star Dropouts. Operation Starfall. You've declared war? That's not really any of our business. It's not like we talk to the folks in charge. Anyway, thanks for coming. Haven't really much, got much to welcome a guest with, but here. Team Star Dropouts. Why don't they, like, get rid of their Team Star merch, then? Like, they're still wearing the star glasses and everything. We got tired of Team Star stuff, you know? We even started going to school on the slot, right? <laughs> Why do you have to do it on the sly? If you're not affiliated with them anymore, it doesn't matter. Okay. Weird. They're just living out in the woods. I was hoping they'd battle me or something, but no, they're just out here chilling in a tent. Sure. Also, one thing I love, actually, about this is actually- is you can, like, when you click use TMs to learn moves, It'll only show you the TMs you can learn from your bag. It's great, actually. Like, like amazing. <laughs> I should teach this leech life, I think. What do I have now? Lunge? Yeah, why not? Goodbye, bug bite. We can keep both. I'll probably get rid of lunge at some point if I get a better move, but it'll be fine. Like, it's so convenient being able to just click on them and, uh... You know, just check what only they learn. You don't have to go through your entire bag. Like, it's amazing. <laughs> this team seems pretty good for the Team Star base. Uh, wait, who do I want to bring to the event? Not you, probably. I don't really have... Do I have any ground types? I have one ground type, but they're also a grass type. I'm worried about the, uh, the star battle or whatever, where we have to battle, like, a whole bunch of their Pokemon. I don't really have any... I guess we could bring Veluza just for that. Yeah, that's fine. I guess we don't really need low kicks right now, but... Anyway. I'll just bring Veluza. I know it doesn't have a psychic move. But that's that's okay. I'm mostly using it for the horde battle anyway. Did, did you ever get a psychic move? Remember moves. Not even like confusion or anything? I have, I can can you teach it Zen Headbutt? Can you learn Zen Headbutt? I have a TM for that. You can. Okay. Good. And chilling water. Yeah, it is 50 power. Okay. It is garbage. <laughs> Zen Headbutt it is. Do I keep Filet away? It's kind of like Shell Smash. Who's HP for just like a dragon dance? Um... I kind of- I, I want to keep Aqua Jet. I'll get rid of Ice Fang. I'll keep Filet away, even though I don't think I'll really ever use it or need it, but I'll keep it anyway. Yeah, this should be good. And then I'll use these three. Actually, I guess probably Wormy, because he takes the best damage. And then I'll lead with Charmos. Okay, I think that works. 
I'll go into it like this. And I do want to see what happens. Wow, it's, it's really laggy when I point the camera in the direction of the Team Star Base. It doesn't like it. Yeah, this is the Star Base's fence, right? What happens if I just jump in from the side? Oh. Beep. <laughs> Back up, kid. You can't just casually waltz in here like you're one of us stars that run the joint. If you want in, ring the bell over by the entrance and storm the base like a decent person. Okay, so it teleports you out. What if I do it again? <laughs> it'll be different this time, right? No, I think it'll be the same dialogue. Okay, so I guess that, that explains it. I just have to go to the front. Time to battle a small child who's fighting me for no reason. Yeah. Please do the Team Star pose. He's not going to. It did use the music though. I wish they made a Team Star like star animation for him. Say goodbye to your Golden. You should have evolved this. It evolves at 26. Why don't you have a Swalot, kid? Brutal. More like Psy Shock. Okay, great talk. Now let me in the base. I talk big, but I'm no warrior. Don Atticus, I'm sorry I failed you. Homie, are you alright? I was standing watch when I heard a ruckus all of a sudden. I got worried that maybe something had happened to you over here. Ugh, no fair, you had backup this whole time? I don't think that changes anything, you already lost. Is this boy one of the Academy students? He doesn't look like he's from Team Star. You're right, I'm not a member of Team Star, but Don Atticus is my compadre. I have to see him no matter what. Well, clearly you have your reasons for being here. I'd like you to ask this boy some questions. Or I'd, I'd like to ask this boy some questions. You get started on the base. Might I borrow you for a chat, my, uh, my man? <laughs> don't worry, I won't bite. I don't know, Calavel. We might have to report you for this one. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> nice work dealing with the guard. Within that baseline, Team Star's Poison crew, the Navi squad, their boss, Atticate, designs the outfits for the team. You could say he has clever hands, he's also a bit of an eccentric. You can never tell what he's going to do next. So, since it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to our declaration of war, just take out as many of- Yeah, okay. I know, we already do that. Seems the folks behind the Operation Star Fool are finally making a move against our base. <laughs> you know what that means, gang. Time for us to shine bright and avenge our teammates. And hey, little intruder, just so you know, if you got the skills... Okay. Right. I don't know why the timer is 10 minutes. It hasn't taken me more than 3. Nice Gulpin. Mind if I kill them? Nice Ghastly. Uh, I guess. And Veluza can kill this. What is Orthworm doing? Okay. Well, Orthworm's actually taking damage. So maybe we'll actually get hurt this time. I guess Charcadet will take damage against these ghost types too, right? Yeah, it's fine. I can heal by going to a uh, vending machine, right? Where is one? There's one. Claude Sire. What do you guys have? Grafii? Hopefully Orthworm can actually win. I should probably just heal now. I mean, I'll be fine, most likely, but I don't really want Earthworm to die or anything. Oh, it's free? Uh, 
Uh, does anyone have any Pokemon left? Hello? <laughs> Where are, are the things I'm supposed to fight? Okay, actually, what is this bugs? What's going on? Oh, here's some. Okay, good. I was worried for a moment that I have to restart the game. Okay, okay, we're good. <laughs> it had me scared for a moment. We should be done, I think. But we need to kill one more. Okay, well this is for sure it. Ow. Don't look at me like that, knife. He's way above our level, we gotta get at the boss. Atticus. You know what? He actually is kinda dripped out, I'll admit it. Pray forgive my sudden entry. Tis I, Atticus. You're that scoundrel only, I take it. You have some nerve bearing your fangs at Team Star. Come then, villainous wretch. A plunge into grim poison shall be your well-deserved fate. On guard. Did he just call me a wretch? Gun tank. I can't Psy Shock that. And it's raining, so I have to switch. Not but punishment awaits here, wretch. A plague on your house. A plague on my house? No! I guess this is just a free wormy switch, huh? And that's why we have bulldoze. Although I don't know why the bulldoze would hit him while he's on the car. Nice try. He has four Pokemon? Certain moves can poison with a mere graze. Tremble, scoundrel, for thy Pokemon's sake. <laughs> okay, I kind of like this guy. <laughs> he reminds me of, uh... Oh, you know what? He reminds me of Gundam from Danganronpa 2. He's actually exactly the same. <laughs> No wonder I like him. Well, I'm gonna keep taking Bulldoze. Except for this last time when he's gonna Sucker Punch me a fourth time, and I'll have to switch. Alright, gotta switch. Well, actually, how much damage is he doing to me, really? He's doing slightly under a quarter, right? Because if I'm at 22... Yeah, he, he could high roll. Okay, fine. That makes sense. I'll switch. Uh. Hmm. I'm just thinking about who I want to let get sucker punched. Because I could go into Veluza, but I don't think Veluza would be faster. Oh, no, it would be faster because I bulldozed it a bunch. Oh, it stopped raining? Of course it stopped raining as soon as I send out my water type. I like how the weather is actually dynamic even in the battles. Uh, I'm faster, so if I Aqua Jet, he will get hit before he gets the Sucker Punch. Revover. Oh, he's a cheater? You actually can't evolve this until level 40? Why does it fly with wheels? It's level 33? Why is my level cap 32 then? Oh my god. <laughs> I 
Let's just switch. Wait, are you telling me that this guy has two rev of room? He has the car and the real one? What did you just go for? Assurance? Yeah, I might as well do Well, you're weak to steal. Hmm. Kind of a bad situation. Oh, well. I, I don't know why I went into... Yeah, this doesn't make sense either. <laughs> but probably I can't do anything back. It's a steel type. Okay, yeah, this was a... Oh my god. <laughs> this was not a good switch. Not sure what I was thinking. I guess I just have to go into cobblestone. I'll just U-turn into it. Yeah, this river room is actually really scary. I wish my earthworm didn't take a billion damage so I could hit it with a bulldoze. I guess I could have. I probably should have. I don't know why I went into this. I should have just gone into my starter. <laughs> and of course, he randomly switched. What the? What? Oh, oh, oh. What? What is that damage? Okay. Look, I know I'm weak to steal, okay? Look, look, look. Look at my defense, man! I guess it's not- okay, it's not that high. But, like, come on, man! There's no way that that one-shot you. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, my bad. Okay, well, quacamole it is. What can I say? I'm a bad player. <laughs> so terrible. And he's faster. This rubber room is destroying me. Please die to this. It didn't burn. No. Okay. Wow. Uh, I'm not in a good. S oh wait, I am in a good situation. <laughs> Hold on. We have Earth Eater. Okay, well now I can bulldoze back. I should live whatever attack he has. Yeah, okay. Man, I really didn't want my Minecraft Pokemon to die. I'm actually so sad. <laughs> Dude. Muck. What could Muck have? Fire Punch? Don't have Fire Punch, and we won't have any issues. Sludge wave. I guess he has nothing. <laughs> or I get like <clears throat> it must have only poison moves. Otherwise, why would it go for sludge wave? Watch, he's gonna have like overheat or something. Well, I guess it actually does have nothing. What what is this thing's moveset? Like sludge wave Vena shock? Uh, toxic and gunk shot. That's its moveset. There's no way he can't hit me with anything. Maybe he has a ground move and he just doesn't want to go for that. That must be it. I think he probably has like bulldoze. Because even if it had a normal move, he'd go for that. And the second rev of room, which is just the car. And I think the car is pure poison. Think to give me a taste of my own poison? I will fight on until the very end. Was he supposed to say fee, or was he trying to say fine? No idea. Well, either way, we stay in. Spin out. Is that a psychic? Is that a steel move? Okay, it is. I, I think so. Okay, we don't do really any damage. Okay, actually, I think a better idea is to... Wait, what? It has toxic debris. You're kidding. Okay. Well, I'm gonna mud slap actually. It has flame charge. Oh, that did no damage. Eight damage from flame charge. I wish I gave Wormy the leftovers. What did I give this? Oh, it's assault vest, isn't it? What did I give you? Oh yeah, it is assault vest. Well, I can take one more flame charge, unless he high rolls me or some nonsense, but I want to get his accuracy down. Perfect. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> you know, the cheese way. 
He's minus two. If he hits me, he can hit me with one more thing and I'll live. <laughs> Perfect. The more we dodge, the worse it'll get for him. Okay, now we gotta switch. Unfortunately, when I switch, I'm gonna get poisoned, which isn't great. I guess I could just go into Grafaii. That should be okay. I do want to go into Charlos, but I don't really want Charlos to be uh, burned or poisoned. Now, the thing is, if I U-turn, I'd have to hard switch if I don't want it to be poisoned. Because if I just click, how much does this do? A lot. What the hell? Well, I guess now I got a free switch. <laughs> oh, man. Well, at least I got to see this fully evolve, so I'm not as sad as I am with Cobblestone. Although, actually, it was really good. And it was my only good poison type right now, but... <laughs> man. <laughs> I really got destroyed by both Rev of Room this fight. Uh, I definitely Will-O-Wisp. Don't miss, dude. Oh, it doesn't affect it. Wait, what? Oh, and I'm Flash Fire. Cool. Well, now... I mean, how much is Flash Fire boost? Is it a doubling? Is it 50%? I should probably check that, actually. Okay, it's 50%. <laughs> I had to check because if it was double, then it would be stronger than Psy Shock. I think. But Psy Shock's super effective. So I guess I guess maybe just the cars are immune to status. Noxious Torque. Well, luckily he missed. I think just the cars are immune to status. That must be it. I don't really see a reason why Willowis wouldn't affect him. Cause his ability is what some nonsense that isn't immune to burn. Yeah. So it just must be a feature of the Team Star cars. Oh my god. <laughs> the sound of the car exploding <laughs> was just so sudden. Well, I... It sucks to lose, you know, some Pokemon I wanted, but... Oh well, circle of life, I guess, for an Uslock. <laughs> About a year and a half ago. Forgive me, it took a goodly a time. It took... It took a goodly time to procure the required materials. Whoa, sick. These boots are insane. Ah, uh, yes. The move Flame Charge was my muse for those particular pieces. This outfit is everything I imagined it would be. Thank you so much. I merely wish to create a costume worthy of the great in Infernal Airy. It if it aligns with your vision, then I am content. Seems our outfit upgrades are all wrapped up then. Thanks a ton, Atticus. With you two looking like absolute beasts, anyone who crosses us will be sweating bullets. You're so good at these sorts of crafty things, Atticus. Those people bullying you because you geek out over old-fashioned stuff are out of their minds. The way of the ninja is rough and fraught with thorns. I neither expect nor desire sympathy from the unrefined rabble. Based. <laughs> Ooh, someone's getting fired up. Watch out, world. Our Atticus has fighting words. Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Atticus. I think you're really cool. Alright, gang. Let's move on to the next step. It's time to put our backs into our battle training, so we're all prepped for Operation Star. We gotta be stronger than everyone else in the team. That's what being a boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, I will devote myself heart and soul to honing my battle skills. For the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed, and so this badge is mine to keep no more, I entrust it to thy care. I like how I look like I'm mocking him in the, in the picture. <laughs> Take this contraption too, it contains a technique that allows the... That allows one to cover their foes in gunk. Toxic? Gunk shot. Okay, that makes more sense. Omi is thy name, is it not? You have utterly bested me. But thy victory sh stirred no bitterness within me. Such was its brilliance. Don Atticus. My... My compadre? It seems this little fellow has been dying to speak with you face to face. Don Atticus, please hear what I have to say. I only need a moment. Whatever brought you all the way here? I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? Dot dot dot. When the other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad, you and the rest of Team Star saved us. Thanks to that operation you carried out, we were all able to go to school again. There's no way this kid remembers that. 
Because that, a year and a half ago, he was in kindergarten. If you got expelled for being the good guys, that'd be the worst thing ever. Forgive me. Haven't you heard anything from the big boss? Nay, we've heard not a whisper since that fateful day. Without the big boss, Team Star cannot carry on. And without the team, the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. We've no choice but to defend our bases till the big boss returns to us. You have evidently trust this big boss of yours a great deal. Who exactly are they? In truth, not one of us has met them in the flesh. By their own word, they are a recluse. As with the rest of us, to would seem bullying was to blame. That's awful. Though their name and face be unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious comrade. Our only choice is to maintain our vigils from the bases awaiting the day of their return. Like Jesus. So that's why you don't go to school. But but still, don't ever think that Team Star is all you have, Don Atticus. You've got a lifelong compadre in me, and don't you forget it. You know, I kind of wish this character was named, because, you know, it, it, it would make for a more interesting story, but this nameless child that I don't care about uh, is not as interesting for Don Atticus' story. It seems we're one step closer to the truth behind Team Star's truancy and the bullying at the Academy. Most importantly, I can't believe I had no idea about these issues the students were trifling with, or struggling with. They have friendships, they hold dear and reasons for acting as they do, I just couldn't see it. It's shameful how oblivious I've been. Ha, ah, I believe Team Star to be the one and only treasure in my life, methinks I may have been mistaken. Okay, well we have ten badges now. And two more deaths. Oops. And I just got gunk shot, I could have given that to Grafii. Only it's me. Atticus' star badge is now yours, then. I see. Now that the boss has been taken down, the Navi Squad's days are numbered. Now Atticus, too. Sorry, I've got a lot on my mind right now. Now, uh, Operation Starfall, you've taken all down all but two bases, so it's fair to say it's going well. Seems like a good time to let you know what I, what we're ultimately aiming to achieve. Our final goal is to defeat the Master Nine that first recruited the five squad bosses and created Team Star, the one they call the Big Boss. Who is this Big Boss? Who knows, they controlled the five squad bases from the shadows, that's all anyone can say. If we defeat this person and get them to declare the team disbanded, that'll be it for Team Star. Since the big boss never set up their own base and keeps their identity hidden, I take it they're not one for the spotlight. But once all the squad bosses are out of action, the big boss will finally have to take the stage. Oh my god. Is the Team Star boss Penny? With the Eevee backpack? Probably not, I don't know. <laughs> I'm making stuff up. Well, thanks for the cash. Every Pokemon learn strong moves. Okay. I do what I want. Mm, I'm on to you, Penny. <laughs> don't think I don't suspect you. That uh, sounded like a pretty serious phone call. Ugh, I wasn't talking to you. Arg. So that mastermind you were talking about, Cassiope has mentioned them to me too. Team Star's founder, the person who caused all kinds of misery at the academy, is me! If we don't take them down, I'll lose what I treasure most in the world. Myself. I don't know. <laughs> You'll lose your treasure? Ah, no, I just... Um, that's right, you need your reward. You take it before I forget. Thanks. Okay, bye. Oh, and Omi, don't lose to those guys. That's what I'm supposed to do. I can lose whenever I feel like it, and I almost lost this time. Okay, well, <laughs> that went pretty poorly, all things considered. Okay, Cobblestone died first. Sucks, I really wanted to evolve that, and then, what else? Oh, oh yeah, you. Yeah, unfortunate. Okay, so, that means I get another encounter in Tag Tree Thicket, which is just one to four again, but if I get one, that means it's targeted, at, which is, uh, fake news. Yeah, just one to four again. One. Four. Okay, what was four? Oh, right, it's not here. Crap, I don't remember what I said four. Oh, yeah, four was, um, four was Ponyard, because that was the last thing I saw. So, Ponyard. If I find a Ponyard, then I'll catch it. I'm looking for Ponyard and Charcadet. 
So the next place we need to go is... Well... Oh, I'm crazy. I couldn't tell where I was on the map. Um, over here. Yes, the normal gym. Okay. So, I guess that's where we'll head. We should be able to get an encounter. Did I go to West Province Area 3 yet? No, I just did Area 2. So we have West Province Area 3. I guess we could go through Glissado Mount, but I don't think I will. I'll probably come from this side. Or just go through here. Either one. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna look for a Ponyard and a Charcadet while I'm still here. Maybe I'll just grab Ponyard if I can see it, and then I'll look for a Charcadet somewhere else. No, let's keep an eye out for one. Like I did with Gunsparce. Oh, hey, look. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Perfect timing. No looking required. I actually think- I think it's because I'm flash fire. Doesn't that increase the chance to find fire types? That might actually be working. I'm not sure how it works in this game. Well, I don't want you to die. Yeah, you know that is. Oh wait, it's flash fire! <laughs> I was just talking about it being flash fire. Well, I guess he did the same stupid mistake, so whatever. Well, I forgot to name it, but that's fine. I'll name it as soon as I get ready to evolve it, because I'm not going to use it until then anyway. Well, I guess I'll just look around for a Ponyard. I only saw one around here. So I guess they're not super common here. That might have to wait until later. Where's this going? Is this leaving Tide Tree Ticket? Or is this still part of it? Is this still part of it? Maybe there's Ponyard up here. Yeah, I'm having trouble finding Ponyard. I've been walking around here for like 10 minutes. I haven't seen another one, so I guess I will just keep it open, and if I see a Ponyard in the future, it will count as my next encounter. Or the encounter for this place that I'm supposed to get. My new level cap is 35, I believe. Oh! How does this keep happening? I keep going, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna find one, and then as soon as I hit unpause, they show up. Well, hello. No, no, don't kill it! Oh, Ooh. okay. <laughs> I almost sent Charlos to murder it in cold blood. <laughs> no, 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 Paul, Charlos. We need to be a little delicate this time. Oh, there's a TM over there. Well, time to throw a Pokeball as well, it burns slowly. I don't think I'll be able to evolve Ponyard into King Gambit for a while. Because I don't even think I can get Bisharp until like 50, right? What level do you get Bisharp? Uh... B... I... Sharp. Where are you? Bisharp. What level does Ponyard evolve into Bisharp? 52? Okay, yeah. <laughs> so that's gonna be a while before I feel like using it. It's, not, it's gonna stay a Ponyard until 52? Jeez. Okay, well... I guess I'll just keep walking around. Um, it's probably a good time to end this, and I will head towards the normal gym next time. New level cap is... the new level cap's 35, I believe. Yeah, so I guess I'll... yeah, let's go this way. Because there's Pokemon Centers on the way. And then I can get my encounter for the third area of West Province. That works for me. Okay. Bye.